I know I've said in the past that single men and women need to learn to stay clear of marriages and not be the one to destroy people's home. Yeah, I still stick to that, you know. It is said in the Bible that no man should put asunder what God has put together. Well, today I was thinking, I thought to myself, well, I don't think all marriages are ordained by God, okay? And you can take this so, to so many levels because most Christians will say, you're right because in the, in the Garden of Eden, God created Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Yeah, it applies to that too. And but even men and women who get married in the church, I don't. I I I will still stand on my word that even some of those those marriages are not ordained by God. What do you mean, Faye? Well, what I'm trying to say is that some females, especially African females. Some of them get involved with satanism just to capture a man's heart, just to keep a man, just to, you know, just to, what do you call the word? Just to trap a man. They deal with voodoo rituals. They deal with black magic just to, just to trap a man's heart. And I'm thinking to myself, just because... This man is walking down the aisle with this woman doesn't mean that he is truly and naturally in love with her. Because Satanism, these demonic rituals they do to trap that man is it can be very can be very strong. Okay? It can it, it has powers to do those things to men. And just because that man is, is, is walking down the aisle doesn't mean that he, he, you know, he willfully fell in love with that girl. It's a true love. No, some of the love that's bringing him down the aisle with that girl is, is based on satanism, you know, or some, some demonic rituals and, and, and black magic and voodoo. So would you say now that every marriage is done in the church or wherever is ordained by God? I, I. I stand to oppose to that, okay? Now, I'm making this point because some of you see some of some marriages just fall apart because it wasn't meant to be anyways. It was it only happened because of what I just said, what I just mentioned, what some of these females do, you know? And and the thing about dealing with the devil is he, he he's going to give you what you're asking for, but it comes with it comes with disgrace. It comes with disappointment. It, it's it's none none of what the devil gives you is a guarantee. Is guaranteed to last forever. If you want stuff that lasts forever, you gotta ask God. Whatever God gives you is the, will be the only thing that lasts forever. So I look at this. I, I, I look at I, I I checked out this thought process of mine, and I said, hmm, it makes sense. Not not every marriages that falls that. that goes apart is going apart because of somebody it's going apart because that deal she made with the devil hmm it, it's over it's over the devil is not going to give you nothing that's going to last forever mm -mm, mm -mm. It, it, it comes with the disgrace and disappointment that's why that marriage didn't last forever so you know, maybe that man was meant to be with the with the with the lady who he he's with right now. Even though people may be pointing fingers and saying that, oh, she broke their home or whatever. No, 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 no. You went astray. You disobeyed God. You went and made a deal with the devil to to capture a man who wasn't meant to be with you. So, <laughs> I mean, if 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 in when we pray, we say, "May your will be done." At, on earth as it is in heaven you 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 bypass god's will by making a deal with the devil you know what i mean
but nobody can bypass God's will and get and, and get away with it. You know, whatever deal you make with the devil is temporary. That's why that marriage was temporary. So I'm not going to point fingers anymore because if, if, if that marriage falls apart and that man ends up being happy with another woman, that's because it wasn't meant to be for you and him, especially if you got involved into some satanic stuff just to capture that man, to trap him. So yes, not, not, not all marriages are ordained by God. That's why you, you look left and right. You see some marriages falling apart very bitterly. You know what I mean? I mean, I mean, I'm just saying, do you agree with me? I agree with myself. Shoot.